Okay, they're YouTube friends, so back here in the wood yard, time to do some more splitting. Um, I'm going to be starting to work on some of these bigger rounds that we rolled off for uh, to the side for Dean. He's going to be putting them in uh, his woodshed. And there's some smaller ones in here too, but uh, got a real thick bark, so they're a pretty dense tree. But uh, these are a little bigger than I would prefer to wrestle up on the log splitter. Uh, forgot the old double bit, but they, Dean has a pretty good axe here. I got one single bit too, but I got the sledge and a wedge if I need it to uh, start popping some of these down if they're too hard I might even go ahead and uh, flip the splitter up vertical and uh, at least bust them down that way I don't really like splitting that way it's a bit harder on the the back but uh, not as hard on the back as lifting these suckers so let's see how this splitting goes oh not too bad Well, that was easy as they're splitting. I might just do a bit of uh, axe splitting. You know, really not too bad. Let's move that gas jug. I'll do a lot of uh, back and forth stuff here. I prefer to split barehanded, but I don't really like getting super pitched up hands. A little bit here and there is not bad, but some of this stuff's pretty pitchy. I started this one right here, but if I'm gonna keep doing some hand splitting, I'll move the camera because may as well roll the round over by where the wood's going versus uh, throwing them all all the way over there. Let's find a different place to put you guys. There we go. We're not down in this one.
Uh, I think I see a little one right through there. It's just not evident on the outside. See, there we go. A little knot right there. Hold one, I'll go in on it. So, pretty brittle, breaks easy. And then those ones have a couple knots in, so. That wasn't really too bad, but all in all, I think I'll go back to quartering them and uh, then cycle them through the splitter. That's just uh, ultimately the easiest on the body, so. We'll get some of these quartered up. That one's going to be extra stubborn. So this one I swung a few times at it. And it's not even starting to split. So. It'd be uh, easier to just wedge her. This one's being a pain. See, this looks like it's off the same log. Okay. Uh, 
Now let me show you. <laughs> this one should split fairly easy. Pretty good size round. Didn't bring a tape measure, but this is probably close to 30 inches. Look at that crack. <laughs> that hasn't even been hit with an axe yet. Uh, that's just from it sitting here the last couple months and especially the last month we've had some warm days today's cooler only supposed to be 65 but we've had a couple several days in a row in the 90s so the spur dries right up Oh, this is another one of them small hard ones, but this is the one with the fairly thick bark, so I think it just grew in around these other big ones, made the bark pretty small. Tried to answer it, but I guess I'll just call him back. Oh, there we go. They're a little off level, but okay. We'll pop a few more of these up. That one's gonna be ugly. <laughs> that's on that one that's harder to split. Plus it's a butt cut, so it's not very level. Very straight. I 
if you see it here. I'm working with that. I think it'll split easier. Put that side down. Splitting easier might be relatively uh, <laughs> relative on this one. It's going to be a pain, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Maybe I'll move you. move you over there so I can get my wedge back. Yeah. Yeah, that one wasn't too interested in splitting. all stringy on that butt cut. Yeah, I'll wrestle those up in the house. Okay, well, there's a decent little bit split up, ready to go through the splitter. So, I'll take a break, take a drink of water, get after her. Thanks for watching.